Some performances do jump out, though. We have to start with DeAndre Hopkins. Mm -hmm. Six catches, 73 yards, his 79th career touchdown. That's a lot of touchdowns. Um, <laughs> it's, good to, it's good to have Hop back. He, um, you know, working the way back from the injury in, in the first week, second week got a little bit more, and then uh, finally got to see what uh, DeAndre is all about now. And uh, really excited to, to see that production in the game. And again, I wish it wasn't a winning effort, but uh, made really nice plays on the ball, got open, and, uh, and did what Hop has done for a long time. And uh, that's catch the football in contested spots. And uh, it was really good to see. It was good to have him. Now we got to get him, him and Calvin to have the same game at the same time, and we'll be rolling. Again, DeAndre Hopkins making plays for the Titans and getting some things going. On the defensive side, Kenneth Murray has been close to some big plays in the first two games. In this particular contest, the linebacker eight tackles and a pair of sacks. Yeah, he keeps showing up. And every week that goes by, he makes more plays. And then him and Ernest Jones together have proven to be a very formidable pairing. And everything about the way that he plays is what we want to be about on defense. He's physical, he's fast, he's downhill, uh, makes plays in the, in, in the pressure game as a blitzer, uh, makes plays sideline to sideline, and everything about uh, him is what we were hoping to get when we, when we brought him in for agency. So it's uh, been encouraging to see that play continue. Tajay Spears is a player for the Tennessee Titans who loves to play as much as anybody on the team. Didn't yeah. know if he would be able to go last week, and he comes through with 61 total yards on six touches. Amy Wells had a chance to sit down with number two and talk a little bit about his love for the game and what he brings to the Titans. Hey, go through, one, two, three, four. How has the, maybe the philosophy, whether it's within that room or within the offense, how has it changed a little bit? I just know for us in the room, it's like we still trying to uh, establish that identity, but we working, we working our tails off. But us in that room, like, we ain't settling. We ain't settling for nothing under greatness. Like, we, we want to hit greatness and, and achieve it. When it comes to being intentional and trying to keep yourself accountable to that standard that you're setting for yourself, how helpful is it that everybody in that room seems like they're on the same page and is matching that level of intentionality that you have. I feel like we all be intentional and we be in tune with the, with the growth of everybody. We all gonna lift each other higher and when we low, we gonna lift them up. When people talk about the Tennessee Titans, one of the things that they talk about the most is you. Tajay Spears has so much swag. Tajay Spears has so much confidence. Are you surprised that people are seeing something different in you in year two? It's amazing to see the belief that they have in me. But, they only, if they don't want to, I got to go do it. I got to go, you know what I'm saying? I got to go make it happen. So it, 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 it's real cool. But nah, like, I still feel like the best is just to come. Thanks very much, Amy Wells. Tajay Spears loves to play football. We didn't know if he was going to go last week. But the fact of the matter is he desperately wanted to play in that game against the Packers, and he shows up. And that's what you love about Tajay is, is he put it on the line for, for his teammates and um, a game-time decision and, and probably wasn't even at 100% health, but, but found a way to fight through and, and go play well for us. And again, I, I wish we could uh, get some more first downs and keep moving along because I think he's uh, due for some more carries in the run game, but he's been productive in the pass game. And you know, him and Tony are still at the I think currently both of our uh, touch leaders in, in runs, runs and passes, and um, they've both done a really nice job in those phases. So got to keep getting those guys involved and finding ways for them to make plays.